hey guys this is E with scrapbooking with me and we're gonna do this little project today and I know this has been done all over the internet I saw it on Liz the paper project I think that's her channel I saw it on hers and then I also saw it on another lady's a while ago that um, she didn't really give measurements she just started folding and folded some stuff up but anyway it's been done out there and I will put Liz's channel below. You can go over and check hers out. This is my prototype and it looks like it might I might have folded it a little bit crooked, but we're gonna see what we can do. Now this is to use up some of that 12 by 12 paper that you have because this I have had for a while and I haven't used it and so I need some ways to use it and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity this is not real thick and it is a single-sided paper so that's a good thing you want you don't have to have a single-sided but having a single-sided will help you just won't waste that one that's on the inside there so first let's say thank you to a few people that have donated to our channel through buy me a coffee uh, let's see nausea Loretta Pamela Sandra Mary Elizabeth 144, Cheryl uh, N.M. Hosier, honey, Dale Robin Lana, ESTVDM50, Ratliff there A6, uh, Michelle and Joyce. Thank you guys so, so much for your donations. We really appreciate it. If you want to know what Buy Me a Coffee is, you can just click the link below and go over and check that out. Right, so let's get our scoreboard because I'm going to have to score. I can't really fold straight to save my life. I don't think it too much matters on this which way is up and down, but we're going to turn it like this. First off, you're going to score at six. So just score right down the middle at six inches. And then you're going to turn it to the left one turn. And you're going to score at two and a half. So two and a half. Try to keep all this as straight as you can because that's going to make a difference. Then you're going to score at seven. And then at ten. Okay. All right. So that is two and a half, seven, and ten. And then on this side you scored at six inches. So let's put that away and we'll go ahead and fold. Now when I fold, just so that I know that my score line folded straight, I try to make sure that I match up all of these little edges and if they're not completely matched up, then I try to force them to match up. Because you do want your edges real straight. If you don't get them straight, then your project's going to be a little crooked like mine was. Okay. And then I'm going to open it back up. I'm just going to score this way. And again, I'm checking the end to make sure that the end is flush. Score. Fold up again. Make sure that the end is flush. And when I use my bone folder on this, I really press in hard. So I want that crease to be nice and flat. All right. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to score this way one more time. Okay, now you have all your score lines in here. This is your two and a half inch up here. It's two and a half inch. Down here is two inches. So what we want to do, okay, on this one where it's two inches from the score line down, you're going to cut right up on that score line. just to the middle score line. So I'm cutting from here to that middle six inch score line. And what this is going to be, this is going to fold over like that. But before we do any of that, what we want to do is right here, this big part in the middle, you want to put a little pull right there. And 
and then you want to put a little pull down here because these are going to be two pockets. That. Okay. All right. Now I like to go ahead and fold all this up again and make sure that I match up my little edges and give it a good burnish. Okay. Now what you want to do is, and it, it doesn't matter which way you cut this because you know your opening is going to be over here or over here. It doesn't matter. Um, so you're going to fold this up and again I like to line it up and give that a good burnish. So fold that up like that. Just line it up with the edge and burnish it real well. And then this is going to fold down to make the flap for this pocket right here. So what we need to do right here is go ahead and fold, uh, glue this together. Fold the glue up. Go ahead and glue all this together. Now, don't go past your score line down here. Just glue all this together. And then when you fold this over, just make sure that you meet the edge there. Because this is going to try to resist you when you fold it down. So just meet all of those edges real well. And then that will fold down like that. And see if you glue it down first, and make sure that all of these edges are glued real well, then you won't have any resistance on that. Now I like to go ahead and round my corners right here. Okay. All right, that's glued down. Now to make this pocket, we're going to need to glue this down. But before I do that, I'm gonna go in right here and I'm going to take just a tad more off of the top of this pocket. I'm just doing a sliver that's going to make it fold better and make it stay, the little flap stay down better. So basically all you're doing is taking out that score line. Where you scored it, you're just going to cut that part out. Okay, so see I very little, just enough. And then that will fold down and it folds down much easier than trying to force it. Okay, this is going to be your top flap. So we're going to need to glue this together as well. Now, when you're gluing this together, don't go past the score line because that's going to be a pocket. So just put your glue up here above your score line, above that score line right there. And then when you put it together, make sure that your edges are together. If they're not, then again, you're going to have some white showing on the front. Okay. Then when you fold this down, it should fold down without any white showing there. There we go. So then that is going to go like that, and that one's going to go like that. You've got a double pocket. There'll be one here, one here, and then you have a little pocket on the back. Now this one opens up this way. The other one that I made opens this way. I don't think it really matters. You do it whichever way you want or do them both ways, like I did. <laughs> it's just the way that you cut that little bottom piece. It's, it's going to tell you which way they're going to fold. Okay, so we got that there. That's going to fold down there. So what I need to do now is I need to put my glue right up through here to create that second pocket. And we're going to fold another one so that you'll be able to see. Okay. Right there. Right there. Now I just keep going over my score lines and, and burnishing. That just helps it, everything lay down flatter. So now you can see, and then you've got your pocket back here. 
And I'm going to go ahead and ink around these. Now, you can put magnets on this, or you can put little Velcro pieces on this. I am, I don't have any little magnets right now. We're completely out. So I'm just going to put a couple of little strips of Velcro on mine. I don't even have any of the little Velcro circles anymore. I have used all of it. I've used everything lately. Okay, if I can get the backing off of this. That's always the chore. And this is a little bit thicker than the little flat Velcro. But you, you can still use it. Okay. And I'm just going to put it right there. Hopefully it won't show. Like I said, this is a little thicker. If you had the little flat Velcro dots, I've only got one left. But if you had the little flat Velcro dots, it would show it all. But this is, I don't think this is going to show. There we go. That'll glue down there. And then this one. The hardest trouble I have with this big Velcro is trying to get that backing off. This is the big Velcro pieces that you just cut up. I oh, will put that one right there. There we go. Finally. Okay, and then that's going to glue down there. Make sure I've got, yep, yeah, got it on there. So there are your double pockets. Now I'm going to go ahead and ink, and that way we can see the pockets and everything a little bit better. You could have inked before you put all this together. Doesn't matter. I just thought this was a cute project and it does use up some of that 12 by 12 paper. And I like using that. Because I have I'm like you, I have a ton of it. Okay. Pull that one up and ink a little bit on this. And I'm going to go down through there and I'll have to glue that little spot back again. That's why inking before you glue is a good thing. Okay. There we go. Not a problem. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a little ink on the inside of this. Alright. I think that's good enough. So then that folds there. That folds there. If I had the flat pieces, then I wouldn't have that bulk sticking up there. But that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that on mine. You just make sure that you either put magnets on there or little tiny flat pieces of Velcro. I did have a ton of those, and I have completely used all of them up. Now we're going to make a little tag for this. And let's see. I had some scrap in here somewhere. Okay, I'm just going to pull this piece out and we're going to use it to make a tag out of. So, I want my tag about that tall and that wide. Okay. Let's pull our trimmer up here. Now this paper is pretty thick, it's thick enough, so I don't think I'm going to put anything on the back of it. I'm just going to, hmm, I think actually I'll just round these corners and not cut it into a tag shape. Just round all four corners. Then I'm going to put some ink on this 
and I'll probably put a little pull at the top and that'll just make it easier to get out of there. And let's make sure that it fits. Yes, slide right down in there. And you can get this out without any trouble, but wondering if I want a little pull. Now I think I'm going to leave it just like that and you can pull, turn it over and you can see that you've got your little pocket there with your tag. So that is going to stay like that. I will decorate that tag up a little bit. I'll probably even do some stitching around it. But for now we're just going to decorate the front of this a little bit. So what do we have in here that we can do some decorating with? I think this little chick right here is cute. And the name of this collection is Celebration. And it is by... It's from Stamperia. So it's Bella... No. It's Celebration by Stamperia. Okay. Let's put that right there, maybe. And I think I want to put something behind it. So let's find a paper that can go behind there. Maybe a darker color paper. Maybe that dark green there. If I have any of that in here. I have some dark blue. Let's see what this would look like behind it. Yeah, that'll work. Let's put a piece of this behind that. Just to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, got that. And now let's put that right there, like a little book plate. Okay. Then I want a word or something down here and maybe some lace down here. So let's find a word. Let's put this word in there and it just says notes. And this is from Betty's Custom Designs or Custom Creations on Etsy. Well, I actually put that down where I was going to put my lace, but I'll put my trim up here. Not a problem. You know, I get to thinking and faster than my brain can take it sometimes. <laughs> All right, we'll put that right there. I think that'll be cute. It won't hinder the opening, and it's a small little piece. Now, sometimes when you're creating and trying to film and everything else is going on around you I don't know about anybody else but my brain it's just about more than my brain can take and so I half the time I forget what I'm doing I'm just that's why sometimes I just go silent I'm like what am I doing what am I doing okay All right, just got that cut off. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on either end of this trim. Just keep it from fraying. Because this one does fray. Okay, so that is that. Now, do we wanna put anything else on there? I think that's about all we need. And then you can open this up and you've got room to put all of your goodies or you could put another little tag or journaling card, whatever in there. And then in this one, I'm going to be careful since I've got that glued there. Ooh. And then in this one, you can put a tag or whatever you would like in that one too. So it's just a triple, I guess you call it a triple pocket because you've also got a pocket back here. Now you could put a pull on this where it would stick out a little bit. That's fine. I may do that depending on how I put this in my journal. Let me look. Now that will go, 
I don't know if it'll go in this one or not. I may have to make another one and make it a little smaller. Yeah. So this is six inches, so it's not going to go in a journal like this because this is about five and three quarters. But I, I will make one a little bit smaller and that way it'll fit in our journal. And I'll just show you how to make that one. Let me get this tied back up. This is my AJ journal. I finished it on a video earlier this morning and I think it went up hmm, maybe yesterday. I don't know. But um, let's make one a little bit smaller. It's still, you're going to be using 12 by 12 paper, but you're going to have to cut it down a little bit. Now we'll have to figure out the measurements on this one ourselves. Okay, I'm going to get one that's not directional. I may just use that one. Let's use this one. It's not really directional. And we can cut it down without any problem, I think. Still have all of our design on there. So, in order for this to turn out to be, let's see. I'm going to do a little figuring on here. Hope that's okay with you guys. I want this to turn out to be five, maybe. Okay. Maybe there. Oh, okay. I think I have something in my mind. Let's see if it works. You, sometimes what I have in my mind doesn't work, so let's see if this works. We want this fold, the finished product, to be no more than five inches. So what I'm going to do is score... I'm going to score it five. Well, we could score it four and a quarter and even make it smaller. Let's go... If, let's go... All right, let's score it four and a half. That'll make it smaller. So four and a half. Just make sure that your paper's all the way up against here. And we'll fold that over. See what we got here. Okay, our finished piece is going to be four and a half. Now, I'm going to put that four and a half up here. And what I'm going to do is score at four and five eighths. Right down through there, four and five eighths. I have no clue if this is going to work, but we're going to see. We're going to fold that one back that way. And I'll probably have to cut that one off because um, if I don't, you're going to see the white. This would be a good one to do with your paper that is double sided. But anyway, we're going we're to fool with that after a while. Right now, we're going to get this correct, I hope. Okay, I'm going to turn this up like this. I want a two inch, no, two and a half. We're going to score it two and a half. I'm just going to score all the way out, not a problem. And then we're going to score at seven. I think our score lines this way will be the same. And then at ten. Let's hope this works. Okay, two and a half, seven, and ten. Okay. All right, I'm going to cut this off for right now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use my trimmer. If we want to put it back on and make another tight pocket back there, we can. But let's just cut it off for the time being. I'm going to line it up at my four and a half inch mark. And I'm just going to cut that off. Okay. All right. Okay, now we can do our folding just like we did on the other one. So this will tell us the tail if this is going to work with any size that you have. And I think that it will. It should. Again, I'm just trying to make sure that I get these folded correctly. So that one's a little bit off. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try putting it in that scoreboard, it still slips a little bit. So... Just make sure that you fold it straight when you do this. Okay. And I'm lining that up and then I'm going to 
go over that real hard with my scoreboard. I mean with my scoring tool. Okay, got that, that, okay. Now we have our two and a half inch mark up here. We have our two inch down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut in on this score line right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take that score line out. Just cutting right down that score line as close as I can. It just cuts a little sliver out, but it does make a difference. Okay. All right, and you have this that folds over that way. All right, we're gonna cut a little bit more down here. When you fold it up, you can tell if you need more cut off or not, just by the way it folds. I'm just gonna fold, I cut a little bit more off of that fold. Yeah, that lays much, much easier, okay? All right, we need to glue this together right here. And when you fold this over, again, make sure that you line it up and glue it down. That way, you shouldn't have any of that white showing on the outside of that. And then on this little piece, you're gonna cut a little pull And then on, let's see, that's going to fold. Gonna fold that way, that way, and that way. So then over here on this big piece right here, you want to cut a little pull. And I'll show, I'll open this back up again in a minute and show you. I know it's hard when I'm twisting and turning it to figure out what's what but this is only the third one that I have made, so I'm new at this. Okay, so here's where I folded that together, right there. There's where I cut my little pull for that first pocket. So we know that this is gonna flip down over that to make your little first little pocket. And then this is gonna go under and fold up like this, because that's gonna be your first, your second pocket, I mean, your second pocket. There's your first pocket. So then this up here needs to get glued together. So then we've got our little pocket back here. We cut a pull out of that. So this needs to get glued right here. The best way that I find to do these videos when someone is doing a video like this and you know they have to twist and turn the paper a lot because there's not much way you can get out of doing that is I just stop them and start them and stop them and start them and go back and look at it again and you know that's the only way I can do it okay again I'm just gonna make sure that my folds are burnished down so there is a narrow one that will fit in our journal. And you've got your little pocket back here, pocket here, because we're gonna glue this down now. Because the six inch just won't fit in our journals, or most journals, unless you're making a really large one. They won't fit in mine, because mine are only six inch overall, six inch wide and nine inch tall. So it's not going to fit in there. Okay, so we've got that pocket glued together right there. All right, we need to glue this little piece down. That's that little piece where we put the pull right there. Glue that piece down. 
So there is that first flap pocket flap pocket flap and we got that glued together. Don't glue this together because that's your other pocket on the back. All right, I'm gonna round my corners because I like that look. You don't have to. Now, I didn't ink this one again before I glued it together and that's fine. I wanted to mainly show you how this one went together. I don't even know if I'll, I may not decorate this one right now. This is just basically showing you how it's gonna go together. All right. Now let's see if this fits in our journal. I think this one will fit in there with no problem. Yeah, there we go. And you can glue it down on two sides in the bottom and have another tuck behind it. Now, you really, if you glue this down, this is going to need to go on this side of the page because you've got that pocket back here. If you put it this way, you can't get that, that little... Um, tag out but now if you have one that opens on this side you can but I, I put mine open in this way so what I would do is put it on this side and then I could have a tag coming out here a tag in behind a journaling card here and a journaling card here so that is the way I would do that one now this one if this was narrow enough which it's not but if it was I could put this one on this page because my little tag back here is on this side so see, I could put a tag in that way. So this is how you make the five inch one. This is only five, in well, this is four and a half inches wide from here to here. That's how you make that one. You do all of your measurements the same, except you cut off, uh, cut off three inches. You cut off this three inches from your 12 by 12 paper. Yeah, cut off three inches. And we could use that for little tags to go on the inside too. Those, that would work well. So you can always use this for tags. But that is how you would make the four and a half. This is how you'd make the six. I probably won't make many of these because like I said, this doesn't fit in my journal that I make. But if you're making a big journal that you know is large, then you could fit these in with no problem. Or you could use those as little cards or happy mail, something like that. But this is probably gonna be my size that I'm gonna be making lots of to go in my journals. I like this. I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this one up. Let's see what time we've got. Yeah, we got time. I just didn't want the video to run too long. But I think we got time to decorate it. So whatever size you wanna end up with, just make sure that you cut your paper down to that size because you know I cut this one well I folded it over at four and a half and then cut that extra piece off and that way it made my tag only or my pocket only four and a half inches wide so you could do one even narrower if you wanted to I don't know why we would but you could do one even narrower all right we need something to put on there so let's see what we have. I tell you what, I think on this top I'm going to run a piece of trim. A piece right here that I think will work. Hmm. No, that one doesn't doesn't strike me. It doesn't do it. What about this one? Oh, that's pretty. Now that one will work. Let's make sure that we get it the right way up. I think it's this way okay let's go ahead. and I haven't put my little velcro pieces on this one I'm probably going to wait until I get some of the small ones from town before I put the velcro on this one I like that on there. Well, that's pretty. I've got one of the little Velcros, so let's put it up there on the top one. Actually, I have one and a half here, I think, but 
we use one. And you'll see the difference in these small ones and the larger ones. Let's see, I don't know. No, I actually just have one. This is just a half of one, so we can't use that one. Okay, so see that holds it down so much flatter. And the, I get those at Walmart. I know a lot of people ask me where I get them. I get them at Walmart. They're very inexpensive. I've just run out. Okay, now, what else do we want to put on this? What about this that just says you are extra special? going to round the corners. But I did want to put some little something under that, so let me grab a little piece of book page. And now, one more thing I'm going to put on there. I'm going to tear a little piece of this vellum. And I'm going to put it on there. And this is some vellum that one of you guys sent me. I don't want it to cover up my book page all the way. But I just want to knock that book page back just a little bit by using some vellum. And I'm going to tear it off just a little. Okay. And I'm going to use my Barely Arts on this because I don't want it to curl. And Oh, come on. I haven't used it in a few days. There we go. Okay. And then that will go right there. Just so that I don't cover all of that up. That'll work. They're just building on a little cluster type thing there. And then I think I have, I thought I had a little butterfly in here, but I don't think I do. I think I've already put him up. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to do anything else to it. Might run this across the bottom just because it has some words on it. Like that. Cute. I like that. Okay, I think that is all I'm going to do on that one other than when I get my other piece of Velcro out add that in there but I don't think I'm gonna do anything else I do need to make a tag and my tag would really be the same size as the other one just wouldn't be quite as tall I don't think actually oh I'm dropping everything in the floor yep it's the same width we just need to cut it off some
Now, you can decorate these a lot more. As I always tell you, you can decorate them a lot more than what I'm doing. I, I like to do these in order to show you how to do them, but I don't necessarily, I mean, you, you're going to do your own decorating, so I don't, you don't, I don't need to show you how to decorate exactly, but everybody does that a little bit different, I think. And you can mass make these, make quite a few of them, and then decorate them later when you start to put them in your journals. That would work too. Okay, that slides right in there. But on this side, you can pull it out with the little pull. All right, that is it. And there's the first one that I made. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And you can click that little bell if you want to. I have no idea if YouTube is sending out notifications anymore. I know I have people tell me every day, I never get a notification from you. I, it's YouTube. It's not me. I don't know. I don't send out those notifications. They do. So don't have a clue why. Sometimes you get them and sometimes you don't. I don't know. Seems like every time they do a little bit of something to the YouTube, they... Um, they mess all that stuff up so i don't know if you'd get one or not if you do that but thank you so much for watching and we will talk to you guys later bye bye